One of the latest additions to Illustrator, Repeat Grid, is amazing. It can be used to create seamless patterns in no time. But there is one small problem with it. If you export it as a JPEG or EPS file to be used in some other application, it will not be seamless. In this tutorial, you will understand how to use this feature and how to make a pattern seamless in absolute terms. So here is an object that we will use to make a pattern of our choice. Select it and open the object menu from the top menu. Go to the menu item repeat. You will be presented with options to make different types of patterns. Now select the menu option grid. It will create a pattern with some default values. This grid object will have four handles, one on each side. Use the right handle to change the width. The top handle will change the horizontal spacing. For height, you can use the bottom handle. And for vertical spacing, use the left handle. When you open the properties panel, you will be able to see some more options with which you can customize your pattern. For example, you can have alternate flipped rows and columns. Here I am going to create a grid of my choice. Now the pattern that we have on our screen is seamless but not if we export it and use it in some other application. To make it seamless in absolute terms, you will have to follow the upcoming steps. You may observe a red dot in every object. This has been added to give a visual clarity to explain the next few steps that need very basic mathematics. Double click a top left instance of the repeated object whose central point is visible which means the red dot is visible. Select it and go to the transform panel. Make sure that the central reference point is selected. Now note down the x coordinate and y coordinate of this object. Now I need to note down the x and y coordinates of one more such object. This object should be one of the objects on the bottom right corner of the grid that has the same orientation as that of the previously selected object. For example, the orange is on the top left corner in both the instances selected. This is important to make it a seamless pattern. Now note down the x coordinate and y coordinate of the second instance selected as well. Now using these coordinates, we need to make a clipping mask. Create a new layer and create a rectangular object of any size as of now. Now calculate the difference of the x coordinates that we noted for both objects. This difference should be the width of the masking object. Difference of the y coordinates should be assigned as its height. Now we need to place this masking object in such a way that its top left corner should coincide with the center of the top left object selected earlier. Select this masking object and change the reference point to the top left corner in the transform panel. Now assign the x and y coordinate values noted for the first object to this masking object and it will be placed where we need it to be. Final step. Select both the grid and the masking object, right click and select make clipping mask menu option. That's it. Now we have a seamless pattern in absolute terms. You can now make copies of this pattern and place them adjacent to one another. Great. Now we can export the seamless pattern to external applications without running into issues. So if you think this video is helpful. Please share it with your fellow designers and animators. Cheers!